Hello, my name is Helen Oshislawski, and thank you for joining me for a HIPAA Minute. Today's question is, do I have to give patients an electronic copy of their information, and who pays for that? As of September 23, 2013, patients will have a legal right under HIPAA to request and receive an electronic copy of their health information from the provider. However, a provider must only comply with information with this request if the information already exists in electronic format. This means that the provider is not required to transcribe paper records into electronic media in order to comply with the new requirement. The government also made it clear that a provider is not required to purchase any specific new software or hardware in order to accommodate a patient's request for an electronic copy of their information. On the other hand, if the patient's information already exists in an electronic format in the provider's system and the patient asks for an electronic copy of that information, the provider must accommodate the request beginning on September 23, 2013. To do this, a provider might use an encrypted memory card or CD to provide a copy of the requested information to the patient. The government also suggested that if the patient requests it, the patient information could be mailed to the patient so long as the provider advises the patient of the risk of using unencrypted means to transmit their information. A provider could also transmit the requested information to the patient's personal health record repository, like the ones that are offered through Microsoft Health Vault. Whichever method is used, a provider can charge the patient a reasonable cost-based fee, which can include labor costs for copying, costs for supplies, such as the cost of the CD or the memory stick, and postage if the individual requests that the information be mailed to him or her. A, every provider has a maximum of 60 days under HIPAA to comply with this request. However, providers should note that state laws may require a response within shorter time frames. For instance, under the New Jersey BME rules, providers must respond to an access request within 30 days. I hope that you found this HIPAA Minute helpful and will join me again soon. Please remember that a HIPAA Minute is not legal advice, and if you have specific questions about HIPAA or other legal issues, you should consult with an attorney who can advise you directly.